بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين These are exercises about section 3.2 um, uh, matrix multiplication uh, Multiply the matrices Well we need to multiply these two matrices uh, This matrix has order, order 1 by 2 one row and two columns this matrix is two by two so we can multiply them because the number of columns in the first matrix equals to the number of rows in the second matrix and the product matrix will be of order one by two so one row and two columns so let us start by multiplying the fair this row by this column so 1 times 3 plus 2 times 4 that's 11 and then 1 times 5 plus 2 times 6 and that's 17 so that's the answer use matrices A through F perform the, indica the indicated operation when possible D times E okay D 2 by 2 multiplied by E E 2 by 3 can we? yes and the product would be 2 by 3 so multiply D by E this is D and this is E so the first row of D by the first column of E 4 times 1 plus 2 times 5 14 then the first row by the second column that's 2 then the first row by the third column and that's 16 and now we multiply the second row of D by the first column of E 3 times 1 plus 5 times 5 that's 28 3 times 0 plus 5 times 1 that's 5 3 times 4 plus 5 times 0 that's 12 so the, these are the enters of the matrix D E E times C E is two rows and three columns multiply by C C is two by two can we multiply no is not possible is not applicable okay is not defined because three is not equal to two F times B transpose. We need to find B transpose first. So let us find, let us write what is F 1, 0, minus 1, 3. Two negative 1, 3, negative 4. This is the matrix F. We need to multiply by B transpose. How to find B transpose? Do you remember? The first row, we write it the first column. 1, 1, 3, 0. The second row, 4, 2, 1, 1, we write it the second column. And the last row, 3, 2, 0, 1. Would be the third column in B transpose. Can we multiply these two matrices? What is the order of F? 2 by 4. What is the order of B transpose? 4 by 3. So yeah, we can multiply them. And the answer would be two rows and three columns.
So I will, I will use the calculator because I have here four to multiply. So let us multiply first this row by this column. So one times one plus zero times one, negative one times three, three times zero. So the answer is negative two. Okay. Negative two. Now, the first row times the second column, one times four, zero times two is zero, negative one times one is negative one, and three times one. The answer is six. Just adding all of these numbers. And the first row times the last column, one times three, that's three, zero times two is zero, negative one times zero is zero plus three, so that's also six. Now the second row. So the second row by the first column. Two times one, negative one times one, three times three, negative four times zero. Add all of these numbers, you get 10. The first, the second row times the second column, two times four, negative one times two, three times one, negative four times one. That's five. Two times three, negative one times two, three times zero, negative four times one, that's zero. So this is the matrix F times B transpose. C cube. Well, to find C cube, we just multiply C times C times C three times. And to do that, let us find C square first. Okay. So I will multiply C times. Let me find C square first. So C square is C times C. What is C? 5, 3, 1, 2. This will give you C square. Okay. 5 times 5 plus 3 times 1. That's 28. 5 times 3 plus 3 times 2. That's 21. 5 plus 2. 3 plus 4. So this is C square. So I can say that C cube now is C times C square. And I multiply C, which is 5, 1, 3, 2 times C square, which is 28, 21, 7, 7. So 5 times 28 plus 3 times 7. That's 161. 5 times 21 plus 3 times 7. That's 126. 1 times 28 plus 2 times 7. That's 42. 1 times 21 plus 2 times 7, that's 35. So this is C cube. If you imagine that C cube is, you just go here and find 5 to the power cube, this will not give you C cube. That's not correct. For example, 1 to the power 3 is 1, but here we have 42, not 1. So this is the only way to find C cube. You multiply C times C times C, or C times C square, or C square times C. C square times C here will give you the same answer. Please check, okay? 
does CD equals DC? Well, in general, it's not correct. But let us try, make sure. 5, 3, 1, 2. This is C and D is four, two, three, five. Five times four, twenty plus three times three, that's twenty nine. So the first element here is twenty nine. Let me check. The first element in DC. Four times five, twenty plus two, twenty two. Twenty nine is not equal to twenty two. So no, CD is not equal to DC. Of course. If they are if they are different in one entry, that's it. They will be different, not equal. Use the matrices below. Perform the indicated operations. Z times C times I. Well, Z is the zero matrix. C is this matrix, and I is the identity matrix. Well, I can find this by first multiplying z times c and then the answer by i or z times c c i first and then multiply by c well in both cases i will get the if you multiply z times c z times c zeros times this column will give you zero so in fact you will get in both cases you will get Z or the zero matrix. Okay, because Z times C, also C times I will give you C, and Z times C will give you zeros, and zeros times I will give you zeros. So you will get the zero matrix at the end. Substitute the given values of X, Y, Z into the matrix equation. And use matrix multiplication to see whether the values are solution of the equation. So here we have an equation. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. And this is a 3 by 1. When we multiply them, we get 3 by 1. Now, if x, y, z are solutions, so when we multiply this matrix, by uh, 2, x is 2, y is negative 2, and z is 1. If we multiply these two, we should get these numbers. If this happens, then x, y, z are solutions of this equation. So 3 times 2, 6 minus 2, that's 4, because 0 times 1 is 0. 2 times 2, 4, plus 4, 8, plus 1, that's 9. 1 times 2, 2, minus 2, that's 0, plus 2, that's 2. So in fact, we have the matrix to the right. So yes, uh, they are solutions. The values are solutions of the this equation this is an equation this is a matrix equation this is a matrix equation equation of matrices that's it this is the end of section uh, exercises about section 3.2 hope you enjoyed studying matrices